from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of Space Explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Now that we've defeated Zarkon's Roll Beast, we only have Prince Lotor left to contend with. And we're moving in quickly on his last line of defense, Darkstone Castle. Look out, team! Lotor's castle is armed with the most sinister weapons ever devised. If we're gonna destroy it, it'll be the most difficult challenge Voltron's ever faced. Luckily, we have some ground support. Princess Rommel and Sven were true to their words. They've come back to free the slaves of Planet Doom. And this time, they've got some special help from our friends Cheesy and Company. They're a little small, but they pack a big wallop. It's a long climb up, but it's the only way. I hope we're not too late. Let's play Dodge the Laser. Some game. Those beams are 10 megatons each. That castle is fortified with thousands of lasers. How will Voltron get through? It certainly won't be easy, Prince Bandor. Perhaps it will take one castle to defeat another. What? Castles can't fight battles? That all depends, my friend. In desperate times like these, even a castle can become a weapon. All stations alert. Prepare for secret operation. Codename Flying Fortress. Now I know what you mean. Wow, it's incredible. Prepare Flying Fortress. Roger, Flying Fortress underway. Begin final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! It's still awful hard to believe! Turning a whole castle into a starship! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. As I said before, I hoped it would never be necessary, but if Voltron ever needed help, the time is now. Well, what do you think, guys? I think it's time to form Voltron. I'm with you, Lance. Me too! To think of all the people Lotor's hurt. Let's win this one for all the people of Eris. Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlock! Dinotherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's go, Voltron Force!
Voltron dares to come and threaten me will make no mistake. He will fail, for I am King Lotor, and this is my domain. Laser snakes. Okay, team, give it all we got. Right. Ignite lion torches. Fire astro blasters. Fire stingray missiles. I beam, ice ray, hit them hard. Watch out for those robots. He almost got us. If we could only get inside. There's too many of them. Thank you, Cheesy. So, Voltron has stooped to using mice. I despise rodents. But I despise the Voltron Force even more. Are you hurt? Thank you, Sven. <laughs> We're approaching Planet Doom at Mach 7. Our trajectory is Code 9 RS-11. They're blasting him! Voltron's under heavy attack. Battle stations! Prepare to encounter the enemy. We're ready, Karan. Our power mounts are moving into place. Let's get down close where we can draw out those laser snakes. Then we can deal with them. All right, Lance, you got it. Form blazing sword. Princess! Uh. Get close enough! That got him! There's more of them! Now! Hey, what are they doing? I don't like the looks of this. Ah! Ah! It's got us! We can't get away! We've got him right where we want him. Now open up with the Ultra Blaster. That's perfect! Let them feel my power! Now he's finished. Can't we help him? Only a miracle could save them now. I'm afraid you're right. What's that? It's the Flying Fortress. Koran has come to save us. Princess, are you all right? We all are, thanks to you. Good. I want to put the Flying Fortress at your command. We'll fight together. Sounds good. We've got a new partner. The Flying Fortress. That'll give Lotor something to think about. Man battle stations, prepare to fire. Ready? Then let's do it! 
Stingray missiles! I beam! Ice ray! Ignite lion torches! Fire! Fire! Keep pouring it on! There go the ultra blasters! And the laser snakes! Destroyed my castle. I'll get them. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Now that final victory is almost ours, the Galaxy Alliance has called upon the would-be robeasts of Planet Doom to stop fighting and sign a treaty of peace. Their spokesmen are in the castle now with Lotor. No doubt Lotor will resist, but they'll demand. Lotor, we must give up. You told us to trust your power. Show no mercy. That's what he said, and look where it got us. Fools! You liked it well enough when I brought you slaves to do your work, to fight your wars, didn't you? Now you cringe before Voltron like cowards? We were wrong, Lotor, but at least we know it. You are still living in the past. The time for war is over. Give up or we'll force you. No one forces Lotor. Yala. They've captured all our soldiers and guards. We told you, Prince Lotor! Your reign of terror is over! We're going to surrender! You can't defeat all of us! Can't I? Voltron's offering us a chance for peace. Peace is only for weaklings! I want war and glory! Do you hear me? I am your king! Not anymore, Lotor. You're coming with us. Look out! Enjoyed this if you were humans. But there's no glory in defeating a bunch of dim witted robots. Our slave masters, we've got them. But they'll never rule us again. We're free. Thanks to Voltron. Yes, Lotor, tell me. He's still sitting on his throne. Well, I've got a score to settle with Lotor, just between him and me. Please don't go in there, Sven. I have to, Rommel, because of what he did, kidnapping you and throwing you into the Pit of Skulls, forcing me to live in the caves on the planet Doom like an animal. You're the one who saved me, Rommel. But I swore I'd find him. Understand? Take this, Sven, and remember that... no matter what happens, my heart is with you. Thank you, Rommel. Farewell. Please let him be safe. Please. Romel! It's me! Fando! My dear brother, I thought I'd never see you again, but here you are. Romel, is Sven with you? No, he went into the castle. He's going to find Lotor. By himself? Lotor! Where are you? There are no more guards! It's just you and me! Give up while you can! Why? Tomorrow, I'll have a thousand more slaves. No, you'll never enslave anyone again. I've done it. 
when I have a sword in my hand. I wouldn't want to slip and hurt your friend. Don't worry about me. You've got to stop him now. We can't move. <laughs> your compassion is touching. Please, sit down. Destroy Voltron. Listen well. If you ever want to see your friend again, bring Voltron to me, unmanned. It's Lotor. He's, He's going, going to, to destroy, destroy Voltron. Voltron. There's got to be a way to stop him. How, Keith? He's got us over a barrel. If we want to save Sven, we've got to let him destroy Voltron. <laughs> You've heard my demand. You have one minute. Don't do it. Look, I'm not important. You must stop him. Let's go do what he wants before it's too late for Sven. Very good. <gasps> they brought Voltron right where I want him. Let him do it! <laughs> Keith, please! Watch this, princess! The mice, they snuck away, and Lotor didn't see them. Crush Voltron! <laughs> anymore. I gotta stop him. Huh? No. Think about Sven. Listen, if we try to stop him, you know what's gonna happen. Jitter, wherever you are, you're our only hope. When Voltron's destroyed, they'll all be my slaves. <laughs> When they did find Sven, they discovered that his fall had been broken by the water. He was safe, 
and could go back with Rommel to planet Pollux, where his wounds would heal in time. But Sven was not the only one who had survived the fall. Did they really think they could stop me, Prince Lotar? When they have left planet Doom, I will return and rebuild everything exactly as it was. Only this time, it will be twice as evil as before. <laughs> But for the time being, Voltron had returned to planet Eris, where the sun shone down upon him and upon all the people of Eris who had worked together hand in hand, helping Voltron to achieve this glorious day of peace. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. I thought the Voltron Force would be here. I want to see Keith. Cheesy, do you know where they are? They're taking a nap in the country? Oh, this is great. Peace at last. Beautiful. You gotta know that Hunk is relaxed now. He's really loose. This is the life. But for how long? Now that there's peace in this part of the universe, I guess the Galaxy Alliance will be sending us out on assignment someplace else. Hey, maybe they'll call us back to join the rest of the Voltron Force. I'll get to see my brother Chip again. I'm gonna write him a space letter right away. Everybody got letters today. Let's give a prize to the one from farthest away. I got a note from the commander on the top deck. I got a seed catalog from planet Pluto. Hey, Chip, looks like you got a real letter today. It's from my brother, Pidge. He says their Voltron force defeated all the drool bad guys in the Danubian galaxy. Now maybe they'll be coming back to join us. If the Galaxy Alliance doesn't decide to transfer them to another trouble spot. And if we don't get sent to another galaxy, then we expect that. Because we're all a part of Voltron, defender of the universe. A headquarters alarm at this hour? Well, what could it be? Don't tell us Zarkon's attacking. Indirectly, yes. I've received an SOS from an old friend, Professor Sawa, who's been doing research on the sand planet. It's a barren but friendly place. What's the problem? According to Sawa, Zarkon plans to capture the sand people and turn them into vicious warriors. Hmm, that doesn't seem possible. From what I've heard, the Sand People are shy and timid, not at all warlike. I never heard of Sand People. What are they like? <gasps> huh? It looks like a Sand Turtle! Zarkon has some way of transforming these people. I want you to defend them and also rescue Professor Sawa. Let me assure you, sire, the sand people are sturdier than they appear to be and have been conditioned by their harsh environment. They are prime material for a robust army. Their one weakness is a kindly, gentle nature, which, thanks to my sinister powers, I've been able to correct. I can turn them into the most fearsome, terrifying invasion force you've ever dreamed of. Hey, guys, no braggart, Pop. Our operational base is ready. All we need is your green light. Hmm. My horoscope advises that now is the time to be nasty. Round them up. This isn't a radiation belt. They're high atmosphere sand rings. Activate filter systems for descent.
You okay, Pidge? Yep. Uh, 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 Bless you. All right, Professor Sarwa should be somewhere in this area. We'll split up and scout. It's pretty desolate. Be on the lookout for Zarkon's forces and maintain contact. Got, Got it! it. Tracks already! My sensor doesn't identify them. Sand people, animal, friend, or Zarkon. Here's an ancient riverbed, no sign of water. Where would the sand people live and where would the professor be doing his research? No place to lose footing. What I'd like to nose into is a four-decker Starburger and a Galaxy Ice Shake, any flavor. But all I can smell is a rat, a desert rat. My sensor picks up a strange odor too, huh? I can only tell you it's not something to eat. spacecraft up top. Huh? I don't believe it, an underground base. I'll move in for a closer look. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Expecting you. We came here to help you and you help us. I'd hate to run into those snakes with a dead battery. Are they everywhere? Only here. Zarkhan's son, Prince Lothor, brought them into guard that buried military base. A number of sand people have been badly injured by them. So that's the staging area. Yes, that spacecraft was bringing in supplies. Well, we've got something to start with, Professor. I better call the rest of the team. Huh? We got a garbled emergency call from you. Something about giant snakes. Is this desert heat getting to you, or...? I'm okay, Skipper. Thanks to Professor Sawa. I'm grateful for your swift response. Please summon your crew and follow.
I came here to learn about the Sand People and learn to love them. Can't they organize and attack that underground base? Kick Zarkon out? It's not their nature to fight. I tried to lead them. Many were captured and are being held. We can storm that place and free them. What do you say, team? Let's take them by surprise. The Guardian Snakes have already rattled a warning. Besides, they would kill the Sand People already being held. We have to do something, Professor. Short of starting an interplanetary war... I think first you should meet the Sand People, knowing them may help you formulate an approach. But you mustn't go as lions. It would frighten them. We'll ride. They're accustomed to unicorses. Saddle up! There are no snakes in this area. Except maybe a few of Zarkon's two-legged kind. Everybody better keep a sharp eye out. There's no sign of the Sand People. They're about. You'll be amazed. Are they invisible? Watch, they know we're here. Come out, don't be afraid. These are friends. Absolutely precious. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one is the cutest. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I never thought I'd feel like a big giant. <laughs> I can see they like you people. Zarkon will turn them into monsters. Believe me, he can. It is hard to believe, Professor. <laughs> Tell me, what's your name? Andy! Who's what better else? looking than Hunk? Hey, little guys, we come from the planet Eris. <laughs> At last, I'm not the shortest guy in the universe. Oh, wrong again. Oh. <laughs> what? There's something you wish you had? Oh, you think my bracelet's pretty. Well, then I'd be happy to make you a gift of it. Here. There you go. <laughs> she gave it because she likes you. See how innocent they are. Yeah, a villain like Zarkon could capture them with lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite an acrobat. You see, Captain, they can't defend themselves. We have to help them. Huh? Uh -oh. Look to our command ship. That means we're gonna have to go to work. Voltron, we'll be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron. Defender of the Universe. Ooh. Oh, all of you, stay hidden. I'll turn molds into mountains. All sand tanks in formation. Go out and scoop up as many sand people as you can. Okay, team, this is it. Stop those tanks! Faster, they're getting away! Scoop them up. Blast them, team! They're catching the little guys! I knew you'd show your hand, Voltron Force! Get out! We're staying, Motor! You get out! Your arrogance whets my appetite! I'll bury you here in the sand dune! Sand tanks, attack the lion! Fire proton 
Ion missiles. Rotor missiles. with their heads in the sand. Tank units, join me. They're already half buried. Now I'll bury them forever. Stand by, I'm going to trigger a sand wave. Stand by. They'll never escape this. It's a river of sand! Boom! <laughs> the five mighty lions out of my way! Watch Hagar turn these little blobs into monsters! Relax, little bug. We're only going to make you big and strong. So, I see you wear a bracelet. That'll make you easy to identify. Activate the Mega Proton Cell Amplifier. At once, sir. Just as Hagar said. As he enlarges, he will become meaner. Just look at those vicious claws. A true champion rovings. I don't mind boring my way in like a mole, but is this the right course? Yeah, it's the only way to avoid the snakes. They're above us. Zarkon's underground base is dead ahead. Go for it, Hunk. They think we're still buried, so surprise is our best shot. We'll free the sand people first. Unidentified underground objects approaching. Not sand people. <sighs> huh? Ghost blips? No, sir. There are five. They attack as one. You're right. They may be underground beasts peculiar to this planet, like the moles of Earth. They merge as one on a due bearing. It's bad. Alert. Alert. Prince Lotor, it appears that unknown objects approach underground. Don't interrupt me when I'm... Sorry. What? what do you mean, unknown, you idiot? It's the Voltron Force! <laughs> Stop them! They've come for the sand people! Watch what your cute little mole can do when he finally grows up. What is that thing? Man, I hate to say it, but Lotor's new row beast looks like a sandman. It is. Oh, what have they done to him? Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Look at that bracelet. It's Sandy. <gasps> it changed him into a mechanical row beast. Uh, take cover, team. He's making the pass.
Sandy, these are your people. I'm Princess Allura, Sandy. I gave you the bracelet. Don't you remember? We're friends. Look at it. He doesn't understand. He's been turned into a row beast for Lotor. Work, Robies. Now crush them. Crush. He's coming to finish us off. Get back. Keep low. Do you read? Sandy, don't. Please. You must remember. Sandy! <laughs> His power's too great. The lions can't handle him. We got a call on our last resort. to form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infracell up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, Let's go, go Voltron! Voltron! His receiving area is the letter S. I'll try to jolt him off balance. Pin him down and get at that S. Robis control destroyed. Losing power and shrinking. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Uh, disaster! You can't send a midget to do a giant's job. I'll be back. Oh, it's a deep sleep. He'll awaken soon, remembering just the dream. <laughs> Eventually, Sandy did fully recover, and once again, peace was restored to the land of the little sand people, thanks to Voltron, defender of the universe.